so I thought I'd do a haul of what we're going to get him I am if you're interested got all his decorations as well for his birthday because we've been in lockdown um, I just thought I would um, go a bit extra this year we wouldn't normally a, get him this much and we wouldn't normally go all out on decorations and things like that but because we don't know whether we can have family around yet or if we can go out or do anything I've just gone that extra little bit of a mile to make it that tiny little bit special for him just because um, I know he doesn't understand but I do so I just thought I'd make it that tiny little bit more special so I have got my notes of where I got everything from and how much everything was I lined everything up on my sofa so just bear with me if I'm looking down at my notepad it's because I'm telling you how much everything was now they're from a range of shops from Hobbycraft to Poundland so I started off with the little stuff first meaning on to his bit main present so I will kick off by showing you what we got from Poundland so from Poundland we got some little cars and it was a pound for both of them obviously and I saw this and he loves animals we are hoping to go to the zoo if everything's calmed down a little bit now I know the zoos are open but I'm still a little bit dubious about going Albert's got an underlying condition of hypo hypothyroidism and I've got a few underlining conditions and Jack has got something that I always forget it's called Gilbert's disease um, which can affect your liver and things like that so I don't really want us to be going to crowded areas like the zoo so I got him this because it's got little animals and some dough inside now I know it says three three to six years on there but as long as he's supervised with it he will be fine so it says it's got one character and one little dough inside I'm hoping it's a panda because they're his favourite characters and then these were also a pound each and they just a digger and a, a mixer and a um, dump truck because he loves cars they're big enough to go in his toot toot track without being toot toot track track toot toot car prices and they can go in his sand pit and they can dig and they're a pound so I'm not that bothered about them being in there they're non electrical so they can go in there as well I got him a transformer car so it transforms into a little robot I thought it'd be fun to um, play with his dad with that his dad can show him how it transforms into a little robot and we got him a Hot Wheels car. So the next thing is a mixture of Asda and Poundland. So his main present is an easel, which I will show you. So rather than have lots of different places for the magnetic letters that I bought, I bought them in different shapes. So we've got an Asda lot, which I think we're about £2.50. I can't remember, I have wrote, written down all the costings of what I could find um, that we still had, but I did buy the Asda's magnetic stuff way before we got the easel, because I knew that's what we wanted to get. So then we got like, it's got the different shapes and it, it means that he'll have um, more words he gets older to play about with. He is learning the sounds of words at the moment using Read and Eggs. If you do follow me on Instagram, which is at Artistic Mummy, um, there is um, a little snippet that I did on Read and Eggs. That's no way affiliated with the Read and Eggs, but we do 
love it and if you tr you can try it out for a month before you pay for it and then this again is from asda and i like this because it's got like for instance the parrot's got the big p and the little that's a quail not a parrot so the, the quail's got a big q and a little q and a big p and a big p a little p sorry and a, a big f and a little f so I do like that and it's got the animals on there which Albert loves and again that was from Asda I don't know how much that was and um, I couldn't find the receipt for that so the next thing we bought was from Amazon now I do the prices for all these so this is a game that I got him for like so I'm hoping that as he get now he's a little bit older um, that we can do things like this it's just two to six years and it's a lotto game it says making lots of farmyard noises as you find the cards to match the pictures on your playing board game in this full lotto game so that's what it shows in the back so i'm guessing it's just like you've got to match the cards up once you flip them over I will have to read the instructions. We got in some more and that was £9.79. Now we do have Amazon Prime so we don't pay anything for delivery. I don't know how much delivery would be if you don't have Amazon Prime. So this next one was 9 99 and it's a Melissa and Doug magnets but I like the animals in this and I like how they're all wooden and it came with a case for them to go in. The next one is some cotton threading wheels. Again, if you have follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen Albert playing with a different threading game. Um, he does like doing it, and I do like him to use his fine manipulative skills. And that was five ninety nine. This next one, I think, was a real good bargain. So this was twelve ninety nine. And this is for his easel, for the painting size of his easel. So it comes with a a um, what do you call it? Apron, but it's a full apron with a little pocket in the front. So I know that he's going to be fully covered up while he's a. Uh, doing his painting it also comes with different paint brushes now, I don't know if you can see these they've got like different textures on there as well so it shows what kind of it's like not like a typical paintbrush they're also thicker handled so they'll be easier to hold on to the same goes for these these are all like different this is all in the set for £12.99. It's got sponges, but what I like about these sponges is it came with a handle. So you've got a smiley face, you've flowers in there, a star, a love heart. Again, some more stamps. And these ones have got different handles on, so you can just dip them and dab them. You've got thick sponges instead of... Um, Paint brushes. We have got some paint brushes here, all different shapes and sizes. And then lastly, a bag full of normal sponges of all different shapes and sizes. And I was pretty impressed with that for £12.99 when we were trying to find stuff because of lockdown. Because of lockdown, we really struggled to find what we wanted for it. So I couldn't get paint. I actually literally had to go into Hobbycraft for the paint for him um, because we just couldn't find any on the internet, which is not what I wanted to do. Um, we had to, where else did we have to go? I think everything else I got when I was buying essentials. So I didn't go out just to get things, but I couldn't get anything online. We have waited three weeks to order his easel because we couldn't get anything. I nearly had to go in somewhere to buy it because 
if you wanted one off Amazon Prime, people were actually being extortionate, even on eBay. They wanted twice the amount of what they normally charge because nobody can order them from actual shops. Um, so the next thing is from the range. Again, I haven't got the cost of this because I did get it a while ago. And it's just a roll of um, paper. So on his easel, it can go in the middle and it goes up and over. And there's no pegs or anything that are needed. So it's just literally a roll of paper for his easel. And I got him a bath bomb from the range as well just because he likes his baths and I thought he'd make it a little bit different. This is completely vegan, cruelty free. And it is, tell me what the smell is. The dreamer it says. It smells nice. Just a pink bath bomb. So the next thing is from Home Bargains and my dad is a die-hard golfer so when he goes to his granddad's and I thought it's just something small for when he does go, can go around to his granddad's again and play in our garden is a little golf set which was 3 .99. it comes with little flags little potting things and a putter an iron and a driver and little golf balls on there and I thought it's nice and compact it can be stored away it's big can be transported to and from my parents it's not going to take too much room up the next thing I got for him which was 179 which was stories for a two year old he loves stories so I thought this was really really nice I've actually bought my friend one of these for her little boy which is stories for a one year old and I love how bright the colours are in these books how big the words are how it's not how each um, story is only a couple of pages long so you're not they're not losing interest in the book you could I'll read out but one of them and I um, now he's got his new bookshelf in his room so that was home bargains the next lot are off ebay so this is again was a threading tie i was playing with him the other day just to see if he could do it if he couldn't do it i was going to wait and hold off for this till christmas but it came with the most cute little blocks Dropping them back in there so these are our wooden ones and they come with little animals on there and little fruits and what I liked about these ones is it's not just on a string for them. It's actually got the wooden bit on the string so it makes it easier for them to post it through. And I did I did like that about that set and that's a Phoebe and that was five pounds. And the next thing was the one thing he asked for was dinner with his granddad's which we don't know if we can make that happen was a bed for his dollies now because we bought him the easel I didn't want to go overboard and buy him a 40 quid bed for his dollies and his teddies so I went on eBay and somebody I found out somebody was making these and I'm going to paint this this was £14.50 including delivery and it came with a pillow and a little mattress to go with it with a little teddy bear on it and then I bought this bedding now the bedding was 2 99 with £1.50 delivery but this bedding it's so cute it's got little foxes on there there's a little sheet and then it's got a crocheted little cover which I thought that is so cute for a little boy that loves foxes it's not too boyish and it's not too girlish and he will love that and he will put that beside him and I'm going to paint this because it's still quite rough so I've still got some paint because when we got his cot I actually painted his cot for his bedroom which was like a duck egg blue 
So I'm going to do the same with this. I'm just going to give it a few coats of duck egg blue paint, chalk paint, and it'll be good to go because it's still, even though it's sanded, it's still missing that um, coating of something. So the next is his big present, which is from, bear with me a second, which is from Hobbycraft. And what I like about this easel So we got him an easel. What I like about this is, I don't know if you can see this, is it changes. So you can lower it and higher it. So I can make it down to the ground if I want. And so Albert, it makes it easier for Albert to um, paint and things on it. It's also magnetic which is one of the things we wanted. Now, I did have a look at getting one from Ikea because they're about 18 quid, but they're not magnetic and then I would have had to buy a magnetic chalkboard paint and paint it. So, um, I managed to get this at probably craft for 30 quid, which I think is pretty reasonable when Amazon was charging like 45 pounds upwards for an easel that we could have bought for 25 quid if we weren't in the middle of a lockdown and weren't in the middle of a pandemic which I think people are making money off it is it a good thing is it a bad thing I don't know um the next thing we bought was chalk for the easel now the easel did come with some chalks a few little chalks but I bought him this pavement chalk for £2.50 because I just thought thicker it'll be easier for him to cope with and it comes with three of every colour so if he wants to paint if he wants to um, do it outside and he goes on the surfaces it's not going to break as much um, it, the chalkboard also the easel also came with some paint pots which I didn't realise it didn't state it on the website so I bought two but I do prefer these because I should have done this before and really but oh well they have that in so and I don't know if you can you might be able to buy these separate I don't know but if it's got a lot of paint left in there. I can just put that in there if he's gone for a nap and he wants to play painted again after he's come down again. I can just put that in. Um, and they were, the chalks were £2.50. And these were £2 each. So I'll probably still use these because if you have a look, they are the same thing. And that does fit on, oh, actually no it doesn't. So I'll probably just use these as they um, fit on there and they fit in the thing as well so um, yeah maybe I'll use these when it gets a little bit bigger um, we also got some of these for his stamping and things like that so I've got two of these which are they're called finger paint trays and they were £2.25 each now I would have Bought these from Poundland or somewhere like that, but like I said, I couldn't see anything like this anywhere else. And I have been looking out every time I've been going essential shopping. So these were two twenty-five each. So I just got him two of them, hoping that I will be able to buy something cheaper. And then lastly, some Crayola paints for six pounds. Again. Didn't want to pay Crayola prices, wanted to buy Hobbycraft hobby ones because Hobbycraft do paints that are a little bit bigger. These are 236, they're 500 and um, they're a pound but they just didn't have any colours that were primary and the reason we've got primary is obviously you only need the four colours to be able to mix and um, make other colours up and we can teach him about making colours and what colours make what as well so that's albert's birthday haul if you've got any questions or you want any links for anything do let me know and i will 
get them over to your ASAP. Unfortunately, I don't know how to link anything below. Um, but yeah, if you want to know anything, then get in touch. Thanks. Bye.